I didn't think I'd have to say this in my lifetime, but Bubba, stop rage quitting. Kyle, stop being racist. Lando, stop crashing. Simon, stop crashing on purpose. Santino, you're meant to crash after the finish line in sim racing on purpose, not before it. And Charles, stop releasing your DNA onto other people's recording devices. Yes, this is impressive. <laughs> now I'm, I'm coming on your camera, mate. Yo, what? As I've said before, the year that professional racing drivers started streaming and sim racing full time will not necessarily be remembered as a good one. How hard is it for racing drivers who are being paid to sim race, which is something that most of us do for free, uh, to just behave themselves? Apparently, it's very difficult because Daniel Apt, who is a Formula E driver for Audi, has added to the ever-increasing list of racing drivers doing something stupid while sim racing. Apt hired professional sim racer Lawrence Erzing to drive under his name during the Race at Home Challenge on R Factor 2, which, might I add, is a challenge charity event. He was then found out that he had hired somebody else to drive for him, fined 10,000 euros, and was then fired from his real Formula E team, Audi App Shackler. Damn, Daniel. He then took to YouTube and explained that he'd originally devised the plan as a practical joke uh, that ended up going horribly wrong, and the reason he did it is because he wasn't really taking it that seriously, and, you know, the whole series was done for the purpose of entertainment. He justified his lack of serious commitment uh, to the series because nobody was driving how they would do in real life, uh, and they were having ridiculous crashes, which is actually quite realistic of uh, real Formula E races. And the game was filled with bugs, making it impossible to drive at times, and of course he did apologise for his actions. Personally, I do think his sacking was a bit harsh, and I think that a lot of people agree with me. I mean, he basically got the same punishment as Kyle Larson did for saying the N-word on stream. I know that these things are supposed to be taken somewhat seriously, and it wasn't really appropriate to make a practical joke out of it but uh, if you actually believe the practical joke story of course but personally I think it was a bit a bit much to fire him over that what I will say though is it is interesting that he was fired because App Schaffler as you may have guessed was started by his grandfather and when he died it was then passed to Christian Apt who is actually Daniel's father Although I'm sure it wasn't actually his father's decision to fire him, I'd say it's safe to say that the decision came from the higher-ups at Audi rather than the team itself. Regardless though, there is now a seat open at Audi Sport at Schaffler, and the team is of course now on the hunt for a replacement for the rest of the season. Two drivers appear to be on the cards for his replacement, and those two drivers are Kelvin Vanderlinde and Mattia Drudy. Vanderlinde and Drudy both tested uh, for Audi at the Marrakesh Rookie Test, as pointed out by the race.com. Both of those guys are Audi factory drivers, and both of them are pretty good shoes. Out of the those two, though, Vanderlinde's results are a bit better, with two ADAC GT Masters Championships to his name as well as a Nürburgring 24-hour victory, a California 8-hour victory, and a podium at the Rolex 24 at Daytona, just to name a few of his achievements. If I were Audi right now, I'd pick him for that seat, not just because of his results, but because he's actually a really interesting personality. Some of you may have first seen him, if you aren't a regular sports car viewer, some of you may have first seen him in the WTF1 N24 video in which he disclosed that sports car drivers have farting contests during endurance races. I reckon he'd probably bring some pretty good publicity to that team. But anyway, a message to racing drivers. Please behave yourselves. Don't do anything stupid. Sim racing is not that hard. Most of us do it for free. Uh, you're being paid. Just do your job. I know it's not a real race car and it's not what you want to be doing, but it's not that hard. It's fun. Just enjoy it and try and take it somewhat seriously. Hopefully, uh, all motorsport comes back soon. And I know that NASCAR, of course, they are the first, well, probably the first major series to come back, having run a few races in the Cup Series and the Xfinity Series already. Um, and hopefully, all the series come back soon because at this rate, there are going to be a lot of unemployed 
racing drivers. Anyway, that's going to do it from me. Do you think that App's punishment was deserved? Do you think that he'll land on his feet? Who do you think will replace him? Comment any of your thoughts below. I will read them and will most likely respond to you. All the socials are in the description below, including the TCR Instagram, Twitter, and Discord server, as well as my personal Twitter. Please go check those links out if you haven't already done so. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.